Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how we can deploy QTS Cloud on Oracle Cloud Platform. Um, just a little bit of uh, introduction that uh, I would like to give you that uh, we have already recently released the QTS Cloud uh, version C453 uh, and uh, this uh, QTS Cloud version C453 supports uh, Google Cloud Platform, Oracle Cloud, uh, VPS like Contabo and as well as uh, uh, you can uh, support, uh, we support uh, Huawei Cloud and Exoscale as well. So a lot of new cloud platforms we are supporting uh, with our new version and we have already covered a different uh, video tutorial for Google Cloud Platform uh, and also for uh, uh, Contabo and uh, so today uh, we are going to cover uh, how we can deploy it on Oracle Cloud So first thing you need is uh, you need a, a Account for Oracle Cloud. So I'm assuming you already have the Oracle Cloud account. So let's get started So once you log into your cloud account the, what you need to do is first thing is you can see here on the side panel these are all the different services that Oracle Cloud is offering the first thing we need to do is we have to upload our uh, QTS Cloud uh, image, uh, the image that we uh, we publish online. So you can find this image from the QTS Cloud Download Center. Okay, so let's go here. Uh, if you see on the QTS Cloud Download Center, or if you don't know how to reach here, just go on Google and type uh, uh, QTS Cloud Download and just click on this button QTS Cloud Download Center and here yeah, you can see all the different kind of image formats of QTS Cloud you can see here and the version numbers will be here so our latest version is C453 which should be uploaded uh, very soon maybe by today so by the time you view this video this uh, page shall be already be updated okay so for Oracle Cloud, uh, you will need a QCOW2 image, this one QCOW2 image. So what you need to do is you can download it here. And uh, anyways, uh, doesn't matter uh, uh, um, whether it's C452 or C453, I think both are, uh, both shall work. But anyways, you, you can uh, use the latest one, C453. Click on this button and it will start downloading the image file on your local machine, okay? So of course uh, that's quite trivial. I don't want to show you how the download happens. So let's skip this step and let's assume you have already downloaded it on your machine. The first thing you have to do is after you download is uh, you have to upload this uh, image file on your Oracle Cloud. So in order to upload it, let's create an object storage bucket. Okay, so let's go to object storage first and we'll create a bucket and uh, this bucket is just a folder uh, where you can store your image okay so this is a one time thing you don't have to do it every time just one time you create a bucket and you upload your files here so let's create a bucket and let's give this bucket a name let's call it a seam uh, uh, let's call it a seam demo bucket okay and uh, I think most of the things you can just keep it as it is because it's just a bucket and we are going to upload our file inside this bucket so let's click on this bucket and uh, what we'll do is we'll go to the upload button we'll, we'll upload our file our QCOW2 image file to this bucket so let's click on upload and you can see here once you go here you have to select files click on this one and you know from your uh, machine you can upload the file so uh, yeah so let's say this is your let's assume this is your image file you can just click on open and the upload will begin and you can see the size of the image is almost 500 MB so let's see it can take some time totally depends on your network speed but again as I said this is just a one-time thing so you don't have to worry about the speed so still I feel the speed is quite good so anyways so this is how you upload your image file okay so let's uh, go back and uh, let's go back to our bucket yeah so this is the bucket which I uh, just now created and inside this bucket we are uploading our 
image file at the moment it's not uh, uploaded so let's wait for it upload or what we can do is we can use this bucket in which i have already uploaded uh, one image file you can see this qcow2 452qcow2 so this image is already uploaded okay uh, in my bucket so let's use this bucket okay so the first step is to create the bucket and upload your image file qcow2 image file to the bucket once this is done the next step the second step is we have to create a custom image uh, on the rackle cloud using this uh, qcow2 file okay so let's go to the next step second step go to the compute and click on custom images here so we will create a custom image now now again this is also just a one time thing uh, you don't have to do it every time you create a vm in a virtual machine once you create an image custom image you can create as many instances from that custom image as you want okay so we'll click on import image here and this is your compartment so make sure like uh, your compartment is the same basically compartment is like a project okay so which project you are doing the uh, which project you are creating the custom image and you are creating your instance give name uh, let's call it a scene demo uh, custom image okay operating system has to be linux import from an object storage bucket because we have uploaded our qcow2 image to a bucket so choose this option give the bucket name so this is the bucket we are going to choose a scene test because the qcow2 image is all uh, file is already uploaded here inside this bucket we have to choose this qcow2 okay so this is the file that we are going to use for creating the custom image and keep the image type as qcow2 and keep this as para virtualized mode and click on import image and as you can see once you click on the import image the importing will start now again the importing is a little bit time consuming uh, process i think it can take up to a few minutes so you can see here it's in progress and right now only uh, i mean only 0% is completed so let's go back to your custom images and yeah you can see here this is the image i just now created and this image is still importing at any point of time if you want to see the status of this image just click here and you can scroll down and here you will see the status okay so in the meantime let's do one thing because as i said uh, importing a custom image will take time so let's use uh, this custom image which i have already uh, finished importing so this is the same one custom image and it is using the same uh it is using the exactly same uh, object uh, uh the qcow file uh, that i used for creating the new uh, a new custom image okay so so for the sake of this video let's use this custom uh, image all right In, before going ahead let's see if there is any progress here it still shows a 0% so yeah as i said uh, it can take a few minutes so of course we it doesn't make sense to wait uh, for a few minutes for uh, for the demo tutorial so let's go ahead with this particular custom image so guys uh, so this is the second step creating your custom image now again this creating custom image is also just a one time thing you don't have to do it again and again once you have finalized which uh, image you want to use uh, you can just do this one time once you do this one time you can create as many virtual machines from the same image as you want you can create hundreds of virtual machines okay so this is just a one time thing so the second step is done that is creating the custom image the next step is to create the vm instance all right so what we do is we go here and click on compute and click on instances now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new virtual machine or basically a vm instance and click on create instance and give it some name so let's call it a scene demo instance okay and choose your compartment same as it was before and uh, for image you can see here for image click on edit and 
keep your uh, you can choose any of the availability domain but remember uh, which availability domain you're using because we'll use it uh, we will use this availability domain when we have to attach more uh, disk volumes uh, to this uh, instance which I'll show you later okay so let's keep this one 83 as the availability domain and change the image because we are going to use our custom image so click on custom image and I think this is the one custom image it looks like this is already created uh, No, I think this I created yesterday. Yeah, so this is the one which we used. So click on this one, the custom image, which is already ready and click select image. And then for all these parts, you can just skip and for boot volume, click on specify a custom boot volume, this one. Now the minimum size you have to set for any volume in Oracle Cloud is 50 GB. So you have to select 50 GB. So your boot volume will also be 50 GB so boot volume is where your custom image which was just 500 MB uh, that boot volume will be located in this uh, that uh, custom image will be located in this boot volume and click on create and uh, it doesn't in you know, we don't need a SSH access uh, so you can just click on create instance okay so you can go to here instances and you can see your current instance is current uh, is being uh, provisioned at the moment in the meantime let's go to our custom image that we were creating just to see if it has progressed so that was in the uh, custom images just to see the progress so this is still importing as you can see so let's and now you can see it's showing 10 percent so that's why i told you it doesn't make sense for us to wait for this to finish because it it is time consuming so, okay so okay so let's go back to our instances and see the status of our instance yeah it's still provisioning uh, normally creating a new instance will not take a lot of time uh, we can i think um, uh, it is hardly it, it takes uh, just maybe one or two minutes it will not take more than that uh, in my experience so um, we can wait for it to finish and uh, so this is how we create the instance and i think it's that simple that's that's all you have to do you have to uh, create a custom image and from the custom image you have to create the instance so everything is done here uh, the only one problem or not problem the only thing remaining here is that if you want to attach more disk volumes uh, hard disk volumes to this nas or uh, to this particular uh, virtual machine the uh, what you have to do is you have to go to the block storage here you go to block storage go on block volumes and you have to create a new block volume and then we can attach that block volume to your instance let me show you how this is done so uh, uh, let's say create block volume okay give it some name a scene demo block volume okay and you can specify the size choose custom and specify the size so for our case we need at least 200 gb to create a storage pool for qts cloud so let's keep 200 gb and yeah and this is where i meant that please remember the availability domain so this availability domain should be 83 while creating the instance i informed you that you should remember your availability domain so keep it same availability domain as your instance okay so keep it ad3 and uh, select the backup policy i think we can just keep it everything as it is and just create block volume and once you click on here uh, once you click on create block volume you can go back here into the block volumes and you can see the status of your block volume it's provisioning okay so let's see your instance is completed or not and yeah so you can see a seam demo instance this is the one we created and it is already running so let's check the ip address you can type the ip address in the uh, in the browser and let's see what happens and yeah as you can see you are being redirected to the qts cloud smart installation page now as I said, at the moment, this instance doesn't have block volume of 200 GB attached. 
you can see here make sure the hard drive has more than 200 GB of free space this is because we want to create a storage pool so we recommend you to have at least 200 GB so that's why I said let's go back to the block volumes and um, here and let's see our block volume is completed or not or created or not yeah so this is a scene demo block volume of 200 GB is already created so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this block volume to my instance how to do it let's go to the instances here and click on my instance I click on this instance and scroll down and here attach block volumes in here click on attach block volume and you can choose para virtualized and you can uh, select the volume and this is the volume that we are going to use this is the one we just created a scene demo block wall okay and you can give it any access you want we prefer read and write and click on attach so you can see it's now going to attach so it maybe takes just a few seconds uh, before the attaching is done so let's go back to your instance so this is your instance so let's see what is the status of block volume whether it's attached or not uh, yeah you can see it's already attached okay so now it has a 200 GB hard disk as well okay so that is how you know we uh, uh, attach a volume at any point of time if you want you can attach a volume to your QTS cloud or to your virtual machine okay so let's go to instances and yeah so as you can see here the IP address is still the same all you have to do is just refresh this and um, yeah so now what you can do is just click on start smart installation so once you click here you will be redirected to uh, a page which asks for the license key so you can enter the license key here okay so th that's how you create a instance on Oracle Cloud and uh, in this video tutorial uh, we are not going to cover how to generate and activate the license key we have already uh, covered uh, different tutorials for those and you can find the link for those in the uh, description so uh, yeah I mean uh, for this uh, tutorial uh, that's all we are going to cover and uh, please stay tuned with us and uh, do mention in your comments if you would like us to cover any other cloud platform and uh, if any other problem or any feedback uh, feel free to share with us and uh, yeah so thank you thank you for watching